Hello, Hello. and welcome that to. Was a weird smile. Show the smile. Mm. Too much tea. Uh, the quest for <laughs> Connery. See, people who haven't watched this before wonder what's going on. Mm. We need to do nothing weird before we say the quest for Connery. Okay, okay. Oh, that's it. Okay. The quest for Connery, review number 36. And um, we're going back to Sean Connery's third film appearance. Second. Third. Mirror back, Hell Drivers. Uh, That's one. Third. Or. Could be four. It could be four, but we explained like. Yeah, we explained this before. 1957. Third. Sean Connery, after his performance in Hell Drivers, was signed to 20th Century Fox. Yeah. Um, you know this. Well, you said, <laughs> yeah, just, just nod wisely. Um, At the end of Hell Drivers, I actually said he was sent over. Hell Drivers Review, not actually in the film. Yeah, yeah, not in the film. Yeah, not at the end of the film, he said, Sean Connery will return with 20th Century Fox. In? Time Lock. Time Lock, which is a small... <laughs> here we go. We are... We, we, um, there we are. Yes, time to lock. find this film, it's a very another book. very, very hard um, film, film to, to find. find. And I found it online on this site called, I think it was Ez Takes, E-Z Takes. And I could have bought it, but it's like, but you could rent it as well. So I rent it for three pounds, nineteen yep. pence, I think it was in the end. So I'm very. It's out of copyright because it's fifty-seven, yeah. so it's over fifty years old. Uh, so I'm very to rent. appreciative to that website that I was able to find it. So thanks to them. Check them out again? if you're ever looking What's for Ez Takes, I believe it was. Eztakes.com. Yeah. Something like that. Or just type Ez Takes into Google. It'll be fine. You should be able to find it. Yeah, uh, interesting about this film, it's directed and produced by the director and the producer of all the Carry On films. It's, it's not, it's not a good film. And that's film. why the film is laughable, but not in the <laughs> right sense. Basically, uh, we gave it 1 out of 10. Yeah. Because there's, there's nothing really good about this film. For us watching it, the exciting bit was seeing Connery yeah. being welder number 2. It's not even got a name. It actually had names in the last two films he was in. This yeah. film isn't going to be welder number 2. So, like, yeah, he's come to 20th Century Fox to America... Yeah, and it's all, like, what, oh, what will you do? My big break. They loaned him out to a Canadian studio to make this film. And Set in yeah, Canada. They loaned him out to do Time Lock, where he's welder number two. Not even number one. A little kid gets stuck in a yeah. bank vault, which has got a time lock on it, which means it can't be open. It's this Friday afternoon, and the, the bank vault can't be open until nine o'clock, and the kid's got like yeah. 11 hours. Basically, they've got a little bit of logical problems to do it. Basically, all you need to do is drill a hole so the air can get in and out, and it'll be fine. But they're like, oh no, too big problem. They, some guy puts his hand for a molten lava... It's, it's a bad film. I don't remember that Over bit. The, oh, you're right at the end. They make a hole with a oh, massive torch for, and then you're just like, yeah. oh, it's cold. Probably cold by now. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> yeah. And lets the kid out. They don't check if he's all right straight away, do they? <laughs> they're just like, quick, he's probably dead. We'll get into the ambulance. And they're just like, <laughs> he's all right. <laughs> After, oh, basically. I think you didn't care. <laughs> it's not great. It, there was no good acting into it. Uh, there was, even pretty... Connery, you couldn't even understand what he was saying. Yeah, Connery. I mean, he what? was just like, hurrah, hurrah, I tell you, Connery, blah, blah. And what was that line he says? He's like, I tell you, man, you can't go out the um, shape that way, and he knows it. Yeah, you can't get through the, the vault that way. Yeah, and he knows it. <laughs> uh, I think. I think again, they said he was an Irish guy. Yeah. Once again, I don't know why. Just to say he's Scottish. I think the guy says... he works for is Irish as well. So yeah, trying to suggest that they're all Irish in the welding company. It wasn't good. It's I... a B movie then. It was a B movie. It's obviously a B movie. It's poorly put together. The acting's awful. We gave it one out of ten because at least it has a coherent plot. Yeah. Uh, and it still feels like a B movie now. It feels like a C movie. It, it was it... painful no... to watch. The only thing that made it worth watching was just because of this quest, seeing Connery. There's no memorable other actors in it. It's quite surprising really that Connery had such a successful career. <laughs> and obviously the director, Gerard Thomas, who did all the... Um, Carry on films. Yeah, I think even he, then, he, he, I think he's like a director for hire at this point, Jeremy. Yeah. I mean, it, it, I mean, there's no like massive inaccuracies with the script. At least it, you know, it, but it's just it, rubbish. I mean, yeah, it's easy to follow. The kid gets trapped in the vault. They've got to get him out. They've got a certain amount of time. It so, could be tense. It's, it's not. not tense at all because like the kid's an idiot. Have the way they do it's an idiot because the whole film will like drill a hole through it, get a massive drill and drill a hole, and in the end they actually kind of do that. To yeah, get the kid out. We could have just started doing ages ago and just not worried. I mean, what? It wouldn't have hit. It wouldn't have made anything explode or anything. The bit, like that, the, the bit that I thought was funny was when the Batman was like, "Yeah, I'm really worried about the kid. But what about my job? Do I not lose it now? <laughs> my career? God. <laughs> um. So yeah, don't watch it unless you're doing something like we're doing. To be honest, <laughs> one out of ten. One out of ten.